everyone. I know, I know. Welcome back to Too Ratty Too Ratty One channel. So yes, I know. It's been a long ass time since I posted on the second channel and it's devastating. I'm sure you guys are aware if you keep up with my main channel and my social medias. At this point, I'm a broken record, but just in case, y'all need a little recap. Um, I basically was just waiting until I wrapped up my third year in college. So obviously, I prioritized my main channel more. Um, I was already busy with that itself, along with, you know, school and work and whatever else is going on in my life. And now that it's finally summer, here I am. So I'm very excited to be finally posting stuff on my second channel because again I know it's been a long time and I've been wanting to post stuff on my second channel I do have ideas and I do have some what what's the word like motivation to post on the second channel but I just didn't couldn't basically until now so here we are um before this video starts if you hear any noise in the background like crickets chirping tr stuff happening outside my windows are open because my parents just absolutely refuse to turn on the AC and it's like 80 degrees in my room right now so there's that and also my entire family is home i swear to god i have the worst timing ever when it comes to filming as literally as soon as i started filming my sister came home and my sister plus my dad together it's just like loud as fuck so if you hear any background noise i'm sorry about that i can't delay this any further so we're just gonna push through it hopefully but anyways as y'all can see we have my mark binders because we are finally doing what I have been wanting to do for the past couple months now, which is re-reorganize my mark collection. Yeah, so actually the first video on this channel, the second channel, was me reorganizing my mark collection. And pretty much right after I finished that video and finished reorganizing my mark collection, I thought, this isn't ideal. And I proved myself right by when I did my next storing video and it was a mess. So. Um, honestly, I don't know why I didn't even do this in the first place, but the way I'm going to reorganize this right now is basically, like, give each, like, era or each thing its own pages. Like, for example, with my Vernon collection, like, the tr his trading cards, for example, like, I would give, like, each fan meeting its own page, and, like, if it has, like, more than nine cards, it would carry on to another page. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, I don't know why I didn't even do that in the first place, because I feel like I do that normally but for some reason for this when i reorganized it the first time i didn't think of doing that so i'm an idiot but here we are doing it now because um as you may know i'm gonna do my mid-year photo card collection updates soon so i need to get to reorganizing and this is the first step i also am gonna do another reorganizing my entire collection video like i did last year was it last year no it was still this year but like before i did my beginning of the year or end of the year update I reorganized all my binders, like went through everything, make sure everything's clean and neat and organized for my collection video. So I'm planning on doing that later, but for now, Mark is getting his own video because this is going to be a long ass process. So yeah, here we are. I actually did this part off camera and yeah. So I made new fillers for all of the cards that aren't updated in here. I think the last time I updated it was actually on my, in my first video, which was up until Candy Era, I'd say. So this is from like a little bit of Candy Era forward. So like AO, all the merch drops they've had. Yeah, it's all here. Um, granted, these aren't all cards that I'm like missing. A lot of these cards are actually like secured or like on the way or I haven't stored yet. I just made fillers for them for now because obviously I store those in my storing photo cards video. So here's the sack of these. This itself took an hour and a half. So yeah, <laughs> fun times. But before we get into this though, I think the first thing I'm going to actually do is take out all of the photo cards in a time lapse. Like I'm going to take out all of the photo cards in my binders, um, organize them into like little like stacks of like their own respective eras and stuff. And then the remainder of the video is going to be me like putting in all the cards, you know? So yeah, that's what we're going to do. I do have all of my templates here. I did prepare this beforehand. I basically just re-downloaded all of my templates and like marked out the ones I, I don't collect. 
and so I have like a general idea. Like I'm gonna put it, oh shit, I'm gonna put it in like order basically, but like keep it in there like, oh my god, I'll, you'll just see as I do it. I'm obviously gonna keep all my hollows still separated because I like all the hollows together. And I think what I think I'm doing is I think I'm gonna still keep like things like season's greetings and maybe like concert things separated maybe but we'll see how I feel as I go along the way these are the templates I'm using so the first one I this is the one I normally use it's by Mark Zen Orders on Twitter but they stopped updating his template up until I'd say like beginning of this year so the last update on this template was actually here like season's greetings slash smcu and then a very, very, very kind um, person reached out to me. Um, this person, I think we've traded before. And then they started like gifting me a lot of photo cards, which was like so nice of them. And then they reached out to me and offered to like make me a mark template for the other photo cards that I need. And that was just so nice of them. <laughs> like I feel so, like because template making, I know how much work goes into it, like literally. I, it's a lot of work for me to make templates like for my trade posts, which is like nothing compared to this. So shout out to all the template makers out there. If you're watching this, I hope you know that I appreciate y'all so much and I hope everyone else appreciates you because it's a lot of damn work. I can't even imagine. So thank you Marks and Orders for these templates. And then the, thank you Chunla's Dolphin underscore on Instagram. Um, they actually make like custom templates. So like this is an example. An example of a custom template they made for me but they do make like templates for commission so if you want your own personalized template hit them up because look at the template that they made me like look at all these cards that i need to catch up on so we have like two baddies cards and like all the merch cards candy best for never and then here's the second page <laughs> with like ao season greetings and like all this other stuff that came out with it i think this is the last thing that NCT has released, which is the Dream Show 2 In Your Dream merch, which like, bruh, this literally looks the same as all the other Dream Show merch. Like, I think this is just like an encore in Korea, that's why. <sighs> so annoying, but anyways. <laughs> this is before Broken Melodies 2, obviously, because Broken Melodies hasn't happened yet. Or at ISTJ, my bad. Anyways, and like, they even made like, they put my little logo. This is my favorite picture of Mark, so yeah. All these little details, so cute. Check them out. Love you for this. Thank you so much. And again, I'm basically just going to take out all of the cards. Every single card. Oh my god, it's going to take a long ass time. But except for basically taking out all the cards, except for obviously my album cards, because those are pretty much already organized. Oh my god, I totally forgot I had these fillers in here. I don't need this one anymore because I'm not collecting this card. But these two I am still collecting, so I should keep those. But anyways, I guess I will start my time lapse of me taking out all these cards. Yay. exaggerating when I say that this literally took two hours. The first clip I filmed was at 11.02 and it is now 1.05 a.m. <laughs> it took way longer than I expected because I just needed to like really like I really wanted to like set everything up perfectly so that I can just like flawlessly do this and I needed to like consider you know like where to put things and the thing is like the way I want to organize the cards, I can't do it for like everything because obviously some things have like two cards only, you know? Like if one event has like two cards, I can't just put like two cards on a nine pocket page. That's such a waste of pages. So I made some like adjustments and stuff. So it's not going to be in like perfect chronological order, but it's going to be like as close as I can make it because some cards just need to be like together, you know? Finally, I have everything organized. Do you guys see all those stacks of cards? Yeah, yeah. Organized every so I really hope everything goes well right now. And I hope this works out in the end. So, okay, let's do this, y'all. Oh, I need to make a new page for this. Let me just steal this page. 
I'm too lazy to take out my binder, even though I feel like I'm gonna have to take it out sooner or later. My, um, whatchamacallit, my extra filler binder, because I need to put this, which is my Ayo Hollow filler, which I actually, I already have the Hollow because it was in my last Kaidi haul, but again, I'm storing, I'm not gonna store all the cards right now, I'm gonna store it in my next storing photo card video. So for now, I'm just going to put a filler and then I'm just going to put all these white fillers because there's obviously going to be future hollows. Yay. Next up, ISTJ. I'm actually kind of glad I didn't, I made a time lapse of this whole organization instead of just filming it because if I had to edit two hours of footage, oh my god. Starting right now. I actually put most of the stuff in this box first, the beginnings. I'm so annoyed at this because... Um, I had organized everything, and then I found out later that there's a third round of beatbox. But wait, okay, I'm kind of confused right now because I'm looking at my template, and I swear beatbox had, like, rounds of EGU fan calls, but I can't find it anywhere on the template. Like, it doesn't say EGU anywhere. It says fans land, but I don't think that's EGU. Like, I swear I remember buying, like, beatbox... EGU cards so I'm like and I don't have any on me right now so I'm like so but this says beatbox round three so where's the first two rounds just in case to be safe I'm gonna make fillers for it I don't know why again I don't know why I just thought of this now but I'm gonna make fillers is it because it wasn't on the template I I'm guessing it's because the beatbox EGU fan calls were so late that they didn't put on the template because it didn't exist yet. For now, I will just make fillers for it. I think I do have one on the way though. I don't know about the other one. See, this is the, this is the most annoying thing about collecting Mark is EGU, like, or with fans, whatever you want to call it. They're honestly the most annoying fan site because, not fan site, a uh, website to do fan calls because they just do it so freaking late like they don't do it within the era you know what i mean like they do it like months after so like it could literally be you could literally be on the next era for a group and then they would still do fan calls for the previous era like it's so annoying so collecting them is such a pain in the ass honestly so i have all my tabs see how organized i am i put all my tabs and everything okay so this is the beginning steps so yeah this is where it gets a little confusing because um Obviously, I didn't really collect a lot of his earlier cards, um, so I kind of organized it the best that I could. Oh my god, I literally made a specific format, but I kind of forgot already. <laughs> okay, I remember now. It's just three pages of nine pockets. Okay, so yeah, like, in the beginning, it's not going to be as, like, cohesive and organized because I didn't really collect Mark this seriously at the beginning of this time, and also... I don't really have a desire to collect his old cards. Like, there are some cards I would want to get, but either it's too expensive or I just don't feel like it. So, yeah, like his Dream Show admission cards, I think, like, those PCs and stuff, obviously those ones are, they were expensive at the time, and they're definitely expensive now, so I don't really have a desire to collect them. So, yeah, thank God, though, because <laughs> I already have a lot to worry about now, so... Trying to go back and collect his previous cards. Yikes. And also a lot of um, his previous merch cards are like concept cards. Because they didn't really do selfie cards back then. Which is why I never really collected them back then. Because they were mainly like the same like five concept photos. But now they're definitely not the same five concept photos. <laughs> they know we want selfie cards. They're just the same five selfie cards now. Yeah, so it looks a little messy, honestly, but whatever. It's a perfect representation because it was a messy time back then. Like, I was also contemplating on, like, organizing it by, like, things, you know? Like, you can see there's, like, the back-to-school kits and stuff. But that's kind of how I organized it before and I didn't like it, so... Like, you can see, like, these two back-to-school kits. There's, like, stuff in between, but I just put these two together because it fits that way. And they don't do back to school kits anymore, so thank god. Are all of his Super M cards? I think I just have these seven cards right here. Um, so I'm just gonna make a seven pattern. You see my vibe here? So like, that way, if I ever, for whatever reason, get like another Super M merch card, I can just like, put it in here without like, having to readjust everything. 
but I don't think I'm gonna get any more Super M cards. I mean, I one of my dream cards, actually a couple of my dream cards, are the some of the pop-up merch cards and then the AR ticket set and the holo set for Super M. Those ones were pop-up only, and obviously that was during like Super M era, so a long time ago. So those items are like super expensive, so I don't think I'll ever get them, but now we have... Okay, so I have these random like D-Icon cards. I guess I should technically put these with my D-Icon, like... Yeah, why don't I do that? I don't know why I put these with here. Okay. We get into like Resonance era, but this is obviously not Resonance era, but this was during this time. Like, I know, again, I could separate it, because they do have a couple of photo books. But I don't want to like put all the photo book cards together. I just wanted to separate them. So yeah, kind of like chronological order. Maybe it would have been better to put all their photo books. Because they have a couple of photo books, you know, like Blue to Orange, and Cop Young, whatever. Oh wait, I'm doing six patterns. But yeah, so again, some of these cards, it may not make sense for some of these cards, but again, like, I put a lot of thought into it, so. Yeah, and who knows, maybe I'll get more Resonance cards. Like, you guys remember that one keyring card that I got from eBay, like, two years later, three years later? Yeah, you never know what cards I'm gonna get. So this, that's, like, another reason why I'm doing it like this, so that if I ever get any, like, future card, I mean, like, past cards, I don't have to, like, readjust everything. That was a problem I had before, but not anymore, hopefully. <laughs> this works out even better, though, because see, these two match, match, match. It's kind of perfect. I'm still planning on separating all of my D-Icon cards because there's so many. So I'm not going to put them with these, even though it's like in this timeline order. Okay, next, uh, Hot Sauce Era. Big stacks. You'll see some big stacks later. Okay. Oh my god, I, I hate that I have to recount everything. Oh yeah, okay, this is the seven pattern. Again, this is not in like perfect chronological order, so like, you know, some of these are like POB, some of these are like merch cards. I also organized it by like vibes of the cards, so you can see these are similar vibes, if you know what I mean. Okay, this one's gonna be an eight pattern because I have these hot sauce EGU cards. Okay, there was a fourth round for this, I think it was a it was so weird. I don't know if it was a fourth round or like it was like a winner's card or something, but there's another hot sauce EGU card that looks like this one, but it's hollow, I think. I could not find it anywhere, like anywhere. So I just gave up on it because I didn't really need it, you know? Like it looks exactly like this one anyway. So yeah, that's the thing about some EGU cards. Like some of them are really easy to find and some of them are like really hard to find all of them ultimately look the same <laughs> so oh yeah this transitions into hello future i have the rest of these hello future cards they're mainly fan call cards wait how many cards are there oh there's seven so we can do a seven pattern i don't know why for me like seven patterns are the most satisfying for some reason if i had to pick besides nine pockets obviously but i don't even know what i'm saying I guess those two hours of organizing was worth it though because now I'm like breezing like can you imagine I had to like stress like plan everything on camera I would have been so stressed out okay but now it's easier okay now okay I'm calling these like transitional periods so again like so you can see like this has like two cards for example this has two cards like I'm not gonna just a page with two cards so I like combine these together so these are it's kind of perfect for this though because these are all like events that they have it's like random like the castle dream cinema blah 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 just like random live events that they had or like fan meetings and then see i ended up buying this japan fan club card in my most recent buy haul which is going to be in the future but yeah like i ended up buying that card so good thing i have a space for it now Should I keep these two together like this? These are like in pairs? Or should I just go like this? Separate them a little. Mm, that's fine. Okay, so this is NCIT plus two baddies. Oh, no, not sticker. And then favorite. Okay, I don't know why I said two baddies. Okay, I think I'm... Okay, so I'm doing a six pattern for NCIT. It's technically a part of like sticker era, but... 
you know, again, like NCIT. I'm just going to make it its own thing. This really puts into perspective how many mark cards I have. And this isn't even including his album cards too, so yikes. Okay, and then it's like sticker transitioning into favorites. So you can see a lot of these are like fan call cards. I was gonna do a seven pattern. Like these all give the same vibes. Okay, there's 18 cards, so I think I'm doing two Oh shit, nine pocket pages. If you see me going like this, it's because my tripod is right here, so I have to like move my hand around it. Because usually my tripod isn't right in front of me, but I guess I felt like doing this angle again. I feel like for the second channel, I just tend to do this angle for some reason. I don't know, to spice things up a bit. Who else? Oh wait, oh, never mind. Because like you can see this says NCIT plus sticker plus favorite, so that's why I thought it would be like a good transition into from sticker to favorite you can see like see sticker and then favorite cool and then again these are mainly just like fan call cards since this ends on like a nine pocket page like it fills up a nine pocket page perfectly i'm not gonna like collect all of the egu cards because originally i wanted to collect all of the polaroids too like i think i'm just missing one polaroid from this set but Honestly, they're kind of hard to collect, actually. They're harder to collect than the selfie card, surprisingly. And you can see right here, it ends on a nine pocket page. So, ta-da! Next era, universe. Okay, wow, this also has 18 cards, so I think it's two pages of nine. The most satisfying. I kind of split it like this is like universe and then these are kind of like the songs you know like this is dreaming this is earthquake and this is let's play ball isn't that kind of perfect how that works out my mind <laughs> okay i don't even think i need my template anymore let me save some energy for my ipad <laughs> and then this is this is all like NCT, what is it, Neo City, The Link related. It's like a combination of both the Seoul and Japan one. There's like so many cards that are like in this style. <laughs> so, okay. Actually, let me put, wait, how was I going to do this? I kind of want to put these three in like a row like this. But then I have these two fortune cards. Should I just go like this then? I think that's how I had it set up before. Or maybe like one in each corner. Feels like a little more satisfying. Oh my god, you would never believe what time it is. <laughs> this number follows me everywhere. That wasn't even intentional either. I literally just like hit my screen with my finger and it just showed up. It's a sign. This is like another transitional period, so you can see we have like Dream a Dream. I think this is part two. SMC, SM Town. Yeah, SMCU Express from last year. And then another photo book, and then these two like N Citizen Japan cards. I think this fills up a nine page. Oh, never mind. It's an eight pattern. <laughs> Wait, how was I gonna do this? <laughs> whatever because like these go together these these okay that works i guess the box is almost empty there's two more eras in here okay glitch mode oh my god this oh wait I... actually it's just glitch mode yeah <laughs> this entire stack is glitch mode glitch mode is honestly a nightmare though okay this is a nine pocket because they all have like plain backgrounds most of these are like POBs, that's why, like, I think POBs, maybe fan sign cards? Actually, let me put this one here because it's blue. You see, like, even if it's not in, like, chronological order, like, I still want to match it by the vibes. This is not a fan sign card or a POB. It's a 
It's the merch card from the t-shirt, but again, same vibes, even the same like hairstyle. Perfect. And then... Oh yeah, this one I planned by like rows. So they have like a row of the same outfit. It's also again a mix of like merch cards and like um like special cards, event cards, POBs. Honestly, like I usually would want to like keep things in chronological order by its release, but at this point, who really cares? I feel like it looks nicer in the binder like this, anyways. Like, see this row, this row, this row. Look how nice that looks. And then for like these trading cards, since it's like it comes in threes, like a selfie and two of these like ID card thingies, I wanted to keep them in a row. So, like this. The thing is, though, like, it comes in uneven amounts, like, it's either, like, they do A and B or A, B, C, D, so it's not just, like, A, B, C, you know? So this one, for example, is only A and B, so I think for the last row... Okay, actually, I had an idea. Okay, so I'll go like this. Hold on, let me think. <laughs> okay, so this is a nine pocket page. Okay, this is an eight pattern, so I think I'm gonna put these two circle cards here. Why isn't this going in? Okay, there we go. And then I have these like EGU glitch mode cards. Again, I think some of these have Polaroids, but I'm not going to collect them anymore. And then I had that dilemma earlier about the beatbox EGU, which is right here. So I'm going to make this like one page because it's all EGU and also again, it transitions from glitch mode to beatbox. Perfect. Okay, this is gonna be a seven pattern. I don't even think I have round three on the way. I think I just ran out of fillers. But again, I feel like they, I think they had this beatbox round so late. I'm pretty sure they had it like after AO era, if I remember correctly. I remember tweeting about it. But it was so late, I was like, why are they still doing beatbox? Like, that's so weird. The box is empty. Now we're gonna move on to these stacks that I have up there. <laughs> oh, it's another transitional period before we get into beatbox. Okay, I think I was gonna do an eight pattern and a seven pattern, I think. So like, again, these cards just are in between these two eras. So this is from like the antique mirror. Actually, it might not even in, be in between these two eras. Again, like, this is not in chronological order, but... And then again, like, these two have, like, the same outfit, same vibe. You know the drill. Okay, and then we get into beatbox. Next up is this which is Baker House. It's just seven cards, so seven pattern. Maybe I should put this in the middle. So it looks a little more evenly distributed. And then we have Sanrio, 12. Okay, so I think it's two, six pages. Oh my God, y'all, I have something to say about this. Do you see this? I still don't have my acrylic stand photo card or the merch from basically the first round. Oh my god. Okay, I wasn't really gonna like talk about this on here, I guess. I mean, I think I've mentioned it before because obviously like I feel like every single storing photo card video I like I never got my Sanrio stuff yet because the group order that I joined, it's just this whole situation is just so frustrating. I'm obviously not even gonna like name names or anything because this person that I joined the group order with, they, uh, I mean, apparently they say this multiple times that they're gonna close down. So like, obviously there's no point of like mentioning them or whatever. And like, they always boast about how they're gonna close down and stuff. But like, every time they say that, they end up opening more group orders. Anyways, I'm like, didn't you say you're gonna close? Like, they've been saying they're gonna close for like, since the beginning of this year, I think. And they've been opening group orders like almost every day <laughs> and taking claims and stuff. So like, that's obviously not true. And it's just even more frustrating because like, 
I, I'm still waiting on my stuff. Like, I'm pretty sure this is like the only thing I'm still waiting for from them, which is the Sanrio merch. And the thing is like, they literally sent out like the trading cards. Like you can see, I got the version A trading cards, but they didn't send out the merch with it, like the other stuff, which I'm just so confused about. Like, why would you partially send out a group order, you know? And what's even more frustrating, oh wait, hold on. Sorry, before I continue, we have the next era, which is going to be both of the anniversaries, even though they're obviously like different days. I just wanted to combine them. So, okay, so for the 127 anniversary, it's one nine pocket page. For some reason, there's more cards with the dream anniversary. Oh, wait. Oh my god, I'm so... <laughs> Wait, I'm actually so dumb. I was like, there's so many more, like, cards for the dream anniversary. Tell me why I didn't look at the back. It literally says SMCU. Oh my god, this is the SMCU merch. It's just, it literally looks so similar. Oh, Express. Wait, no. Yeah. Oh. This is supposed to go with the other SMC. Oh my god, wait, did I mess up? Crap on a stick. With this. Oh. Oh my god, and it's four cards too, wait. Oh no. God damn it. Well, what am I supposed to do now? Okay, maybe I can put it with, maybe I can put it with these and move beatbox back. There's no space though. Well, obviously I'm gonna take these out first because again, like I want all the SMCU stuff to be together. <sighs> Again, like, it just looks so similar to, like, it's, he's literally wearing the same outfit. So, like, you, obviously I would assume it's the same thing. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know why I didn't bother to look at the back in the beginning. But, okay, this is now all the SMCU 2022 Express things. And then, because we have these transitional cards. So, I think I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out, like, these beatbox ones and put these in here for now. I guess they should go on top first, technically. Oh my god, this nail's completely getting destroyed because <laughs> I keep using it to like take out and insert the cards. And I use a peel off base coat, so this fingernail is fucked. Maybe I should like. Okay, because I want this seamless transition from glitch mode to beatbox, so I should just move this page up forward. Maybe to like right here, you know? Like in between SMCU and glitch mode. Again, like it's not like in perfect chronological order. I don't know how many times I need to say that. <laughs> you get it, but I think that works. All right, change of plans. Oh my god, the binder's actually looking so much better already. I'm actually really happy. Okay. Oh shit, wait, these beatbox cards. What do I do with these now? <laughs> I mean, I have space here, technically. Oh my god, wait, I literally have exactly four spaces. Oh my god, wow. There's also technically more rounds of fans land, I think. But, and Polaroids, but I don't think I'm gonna get them. Like, I think having just one card is enough, honestly. And again, this fills up like nine pocket pages, so it's fine. This is kind of good though. It motivates me to like, not get the cards. <laughs> Cause they're not like the cutest cards in the world. So I feel, I don't feel the need to get all of them, you know, which is good. But yeah, okay, now I have like full pages. Okay, that actually kind of worked out better. Now we have the anniversary card. So one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, n oh wait. Oh, oh, cause for this, they gave us two we go up cards instead of like this where they gave us three. I'll just put one card in the back then. <laughs> actually, should I? I don't know, we'll see. Let me put these in first. Okay, but anyways, my story <laughs> with the group order that I'm in. I think what the most annoying part is that for some reason they're like putting the Sanrio group order like on like a super low priority like they keep pushing it back they literally said that they were gonna send it out like the next month but then the next month arrives and they never do and like again it's what I com I'm completely like patient and understandable with group orders and stuff because obviously I know even from like personal experience that it's a lot of work and people have like lives 
you know? Like, I obviously understand that, but I joined this group order last year in July, July 2022. We are literally going to approach July this week, 2023. Well, they definitely have the items on hand, and I think they've had them on hand for the past couple- I swear they had them on hand since the beginning of this year, or like, the end of last year, at least. So they've been having this stuff on hand for, like, literal, like, months. And they've been hosting, like, a lot of group orders still, even though, again, they keep saying that they're closing when they're really not. And they literally are prioritizing these other newer group orders over the Sanrio one, even though the Sanrio one is with them and was, like, way older. You know, like, they're sending out, like, candy stuff, like, Ayo, like, all these other eras that happened way after the Sanrio. This is the first merch drop, round one, by the way. And I still haven't gotten my acrylic stand. Again, they even sent out the trading cards, but not this acrylic stand. And I think I ordered like a sticker sheet. And again, this was before I started using a K Addy, so obviously I would have bought it myself. But actually, no. It was when I was starting to use a K Addy, but I think the merch sold out when I tried to buy it myself. So I just joined the group order. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh my god, this has eight cards. So now it fills up this. Wow. Things are kind of looking up, but. Anyways, you get what I mean? Like, why would you keep pushing back this group order? Like, I'm pretty sure, again, like, I'm not the only joiner. So, a lot of people are waiting for this stuff. And, like, you you just keep pushing it back? Like, that makes no sense, you know? Apparently, they're, it's in the July domestic, which is just, like, why? And it's just so frustrating because I just want to be... I just want to be free from NCT group order managers. But... I, I'm still trapped, so... Yeah, as of right now, I still don't have my Sanrio acrylic stand <laughs> that I've been waiting for for basically a year now. But anyways, besides that, here's the next stack. This is like the Dream Show 2... Basically the Dream Show 2 and like some other random like cards here and there. I guess I can do 9 and 7. Yeah, I think that's better. And again, I'm usually not the type of person to be like talking about this stuff on like a public domain like my youtube channel <laughs> like if i'm talking about it like this that's how you guys know that's how mad i am <laughs> or like just not mad i guess even though i ever, i feel like at this point i have every right to be mad i'm just like frustrated and like confused that's like what the thought process is because again like this group order is so old and they're prioritizing a lot of other stuff <laughs> and they're also very active on social media, I would know, because I follow them, because I have to, so that I can, like, you know, keep up with the group orders, <laughs> and, like, not miss any deadlines. <sighs> okay, that's all I'm gonna talk about it. I need to stop. I mean, if they see this, I mean, at this point, whatever, if they see it, good. <laughs> this is your wake-up call, I guess. But, alright... I'm sorry if I sounded like such a bitch, <laughs> but again, I'm usually, like, it literally took me a whole year for me to talk about this, you know? Like, I feel like that's to show how patient I am. And I know some people are gonna be like, well, why don't you say something? It's because every time, like, someone has said something to them, they come off as so passive-aggressive. Like, I don't even want to deal with that. Like, obviously I would have spoken out sooner. Okay, this has eight. Okay, that's actually all I'm gonna talk about for that group order. But yeah, I'm glad that I finally, not finally, I'm glad that I actually discovered how to use a K-ID so I can buy a lot of these things myself. I wasn't even going to collect, like, Dream Vibe. Like, for their offline exclusive merch, because I don't think they sold this stuff online, I was planning on, like, not really buying it. And then, like, if I, like, see it for, like, a good price or something, I think I, I bought, because the Polaroids are usually not that expensive, and then... These things I bought, like, from eBay, like, merch. And they're selfies, so. Oh god, now we have another monster to deal with. <laughs> Two baddies. Oh my goodness. Yeah, again, I'm still waiting for a lot of these things. I think I, I'm almost done with it. I bought a lot of these trading cards, because, again, I feel like at this point I should just not really trade for these trading cards, because I get them so late. <laughs> It's kind of weird. Like some of these are, I think it's seven, eight, nine, basically. 
Okay, so first, I guess I can work both ways, but... Oh my god, two baddies. Can't believe I'm still working on two baddies. Oh god, there was just so many cards, so much stuff happening. It's because NCT had, like, so many comebacks, like, back-to-back. -back. Like, literally, it was, like, two baddies, which had a lot of cards in itself. And then it was, um, Candy, and then Ayo. Like, all those comebacks just happened pretty close to each other, along with, like, merch in between. My thought process for, like, collecting Mark, though, is, like, obviously I try to collect as, like, much as I can. But there are some cards that, like, over time I'm like, okay, I don't really need this card, because a lot of the cards obviously look very similar to each other. Like, look at this. So, if it's like that and the card is kind of, like, hard to find or kind of expensive, I was just, I'm just like, okay, you know what, I don't need it anymore. I'll drop it. Yeah, but these three... Actually, I think I have these two on the way. The Hot Tracks and the Yes24. I think I bought these two recently. But this shoppy one is pretty expensive and kind of hard to find. But I'm determined to get it. Because this card, he looks so good in. Like, let me just... Uh, this card. Y'all. Like, come on. I need that card. <laughs> but it's kind of expensive. Because it's from Shopee. I feel like Shopee is usually expensive. Okay, this is a nine. I think the rest of these are nine pockets, so it'll be a little more satisfying. Oh yeah, I originally put these two baddies peaches cards in the back with the collabs because it's technically a collab with this clothing brand peaches, but they literally are like the two baddies like vibe. Like it's the same like background and outfit, so I just decided to put them up here instead like i think i'm gonna put like collab collab things like things that are like out of place you know like this for example this is like a pink fong collab like this doesn't really go anywhere so i just that's gonna be a collab one okay and then the rest of these it's the trading cards and like lucky draws and they're in like sets of three so i wanted to make sure they got their own rows i'm honestly terrified of NCT Dreams come back, like collecting wise, like ISTJ. Because, <sighs> oh my god, they already have so many versions. It's literally like Espa Part 2. Like, I really hope that's not the norm, but at the same time, like, I feel like it's expected nowadays with SM. They just do so many different, like, member version things and, like, different formats and, like, different exclusives now. It's crazy. It's kind of the same format as My World. Like, there's um, so far there's the two photo book versions, there's the vending machine version, which is like a special version, I guess. There's two member versions so far, the poster version and then the QR version. Like I said in my last main channel video that they're probably going to stop doing SM minis because that might replace it, the QR codes. But now I'm not so sure. Like I feel like they could possibly announce SM minis later, which I'm definitely scared of. Like three member version things they did that for red velvet birthday so but like two like smart versions you know i feel like for sm minis they announce it earlier nowadays i feel like for espa they announced it late but for like exo and shiny they announced it like earlier right so it's just so confusing okay so for this for laundry shop there's technically 10 cards because like this is the tag that i cut off but this next era that I'm going to work on has seven cards. So I think I might just like do like a nine and an eight pattern, even though this card might be out of place. I don't really want to like put any cards in the back anymore. I usually do would do that because like I don't have time to like reorganize it in my storing photo card videos. But now I'm like taking the time to reorganize my mark collection. So like, you know, I feel like I should really like not put any cards in the back. I did a lot of photo card shopping recently both from my upcoming sponsorship and like personal shopping because I had a lot of cards to catch up on clearly so yeah like I bought the rest of the laundry shop cards because no one would trade anymore <laughs> which makes sense I guess so yeah do what you gotta do I'm just gonna make this an eight pattern now but yeah back to ISTJ how many POV events are there so far I don't think I've seen a lot I know K-Town For You has one. I'm getting like a set of the poster version from K-Town For You, which comes with the POB, so I'm getting a full set of that. And then I'm getting two for the photo book that I bought. And then that's all I have so far. Actually, the template maker who made my like newer template, Mark template, they actually offered to like continue updating my Mark template for me, which is, again, it's just so sweet of them. Like 
I feel like them making the template in the first place was like enough kind enough for me and the fact that they like offered to like continue doing it again y'all i swear to god y'all are so nice to me i feel like i don't really deserve it <laughs> like i oh my god i met a subscriber the other day at starbucks actually they were an employee at um a starbucks in target and they gave me free pastries like it was so nice talking to them and then as i was picking up my drinks they they just gave me two pastries and they wrote like such a sweet note on the bag. Oh my god, it made my day. So yeah, like I, I really like meeting you guys because you guys are just so nice to me. I meet a lot of people while I'm working too because I work at a K-pop store obviously. So it, it's very, not very likely, but like it, it happens the most at work, which makes sense. So just telling me you guys watch my videos and um, you like them and stuff and you watch them like while you do homework or something it does mean a lot so thanks guys i appreciate it so much actually too bad oh wait no this is not oh whoops <laughs> this is like comparable to two baddies which is candy air <laughs> i definitely need more pocket pages so let me grab those okay i hope this is enough <laughs> this should be way more than enough okay most of it's gonna be nine patterns except for one one eight pattern for this, I don't have a lot of the cards with me, so I'm just gonna put it in like, oh my god, I'm like choking on my water. So for now, I'm just gonna put it in. <clears throat> oh my god. For now, I'm just gonna put it in, but later when I get like a majority of the cards, I'm gonna like probably reorganize it by like vibes and stuff and like the same outfits because a lot of these have similar outfits, so... I don't think I updated the fillers for these for some reason, but I do have a lot of these on the way. A lot of them were quite expensive though. <laughs> I just bit the bullet because I was like, you know what, if I'm not going to get it now, I don't think I'll get it ever, <laughs> so. <sighs> Kenny was just another crazy era for collecting. And again, we're starting another um, era soon for Dream. Oh my goodness. And like they just keep coming back with full albums like not even like mini i don't even remember the last time nct came out with a mini album because <laughs> they just keep coming out with full albums and then obviously as some tradition a full album is followed up by a repackage like a couple short months later that's the reason why i want mini albums like as much as i love the music obviously like i need a break <laughs> actually i shouldn't say that i feel like this there's like this whole discourse on like there's like beef between the nct fandoms for some reason like i see it all the time and i'm like y'all we are we are cousins actually we're not even cousins we're like family i guess like we stand basically the same group just different units like what are we fighting for and like most of it stems from like the company's problems so like i don't know why we're taking it out on each other but why can't we all just get along you know yeah anyways um so yeah there's gonna be probably a repack shortly after and then 127 is also releasing another full album this year too later this year so oh brother i honestly didn't even realize that there were this many rounds of candy for eju until i saw it on the template i was like when did this happen like i swear i've never seen a single round i don't think the photo cards are out yet though i think only round one came out recently see this is the annoying thing like these rounds come these photo cards come out so late so i have to like go back to it if you're gonna do a fan call just do it in the era and release it in the era <laughs> okay next we have pink christmas which i also did buy all the cards for because again i just feel like i'm too lazy to trade at this point oh yeah speaking of egu um la seraphim like i thought i was done with la seraphim but y'all like they haven't announced like a fan call or an events photo card for unforgiven for a long time so i was like okay they're finally done but nope they announced a third round of each <laughs> so yeah not quite done but i'm very close to getting all of my not all of it but a lot of my pobs and like fan sign cards that i joined my fixed slot group order for they're like in, working on it right now so i'm so excited to receive all of it soon oh my god and la seraphim there oh yeah this is just for smcu palace there's only six cards but i'm just gonna make a six pattern then they announced another japanese comeback oh my god i i still haven't even gotten my um trading card packs from the fearless japan merch because they released it so late 
like on Weavers. It's at my K Addy right now, but I still need to like open it and stuff. Honestly, I kind of regret buying so many packs because obviously I didn't know this earlier, but the trading cards resell for so cheap on Mercari Japan. Like, I think like a full member set is like less than $10. I think it's like seven to ten dollars maybe so i feel like i would have just rather you know buy the member sets instead of you know buying like 11 packs and like trying to pull everyone because <laughs> no one's going to trade it so okay now we move into ao obviously i don't have a lot of the cards with me i did buy a couple of them but i just recently opened my ao merch so oh wait i think i, I think the first page was going to be a nine pattern I'm so sad I didn't pull the Mark Chaehyun unit or the flower card. Apparently I read from the comments of my video that the unit is actually from version A and not version B, so I was just doomed from the start. <laughs> and apparently they're like really like not rare, but like hard to get. Like they barely distributed them in the trading packs, so I guess it's like a special card in a way, which is annoying. <laughs> That's so funny because usually unit cards are like the least popular cards, but now this one's like one of the most popular ones. Oh, this ends in a nine pattern too. Oh my god, that's perfect. I didn't pull either of them and I highly doubt I'm gonna find trades for them. I don't know if I should even try and like post it on Instagram, especially because Instagram like they updated it so that you can't see recent tags. So I feel like it's gonna be even harder to find the trade. I mean, I guess it's worth a shot, but like I've been so lazy to trade nowadays. Like. It's literally my second week of summer and I still haven't posted any trades yet. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so behind. This is oh, Starry Night. Or oh, Starry Daydream, my bad. Oh, this has nine cards too. And I did in fact buy the rest of these cards, I believe. So, oh, this is kind of like out of order. Hold on. Again, like I think when I get the rest of the cards, I'm just gonna like reorganize it when I store them. But I bought, I think I bought these cards from Poke Market because they're pretty cheap on there. Yeah, I don't know when I'm going to ship that out though. So it's probably going to be definitely after my photo card collection update. So yeah. Okay, perfect. Nine pattern. Okay, what else do we even have? What is all this? Oh, okay. This is for NCT Home, which I which again, I wasn't really going to collect because this was an offline only event. But I did find a lot of the cards. So I was like... I might just collect like select ones like mainly like the selfie ones obviously they have a ton of like non selfie cards so I'm definitely not going to collect all of those oh my god who is driving a car that fast it is 2 a.m please calm down if you guys heard that <laughs> but yeah I did buy they are kind of expensive though because again this was offline only so I did have to like spend a little more buying some of these cards from Mercari Japan but some of them are really cute and I really like how it's like very blue like he has blue hair and he was wearing like blue outfits and stuff I like blue is one of my favorite colors so oh my god these two this there's one with him with a dog and this one was him with a pillow those ones were the most expensive by far but they were the cutest so I just thought I would get it next up is oh Wait. Oh, this is kind of another transitional period. So we're kind of like caught up now, basically. So this is like their latest Japan fan club cards. I think I'm getting two of them. I guess I'll put it like this for now then. I know I can do a six pattern, but again, like this is basically caught up. So I can put like more cards down here when I get them. So this is just like NCT Cafe Gallery, volume seven for the Japan fan club. The blue orange photo book. Oh, wait. Oh, crap. Oh, my God. I forgot. Oh, oh, my God. Wait, that's kind of perfect then. Okay, so the blue to orange photo book comes with three, like, like photo prints that, like, Mark took. And they are photo card size, so I was planning on putting it in my binder. And I just remembered because it wasn't on a template. So, yeah, and it's three. So, again, wow. That was actually kind of perfect. It fills up this page perfectly. So, those will go down here then. And then this is the Neo Culture Collection photo card from SM Global Shop. This took forever to ship out and I finally got it and I didn't pull Mark. So I'm hoping I can find a trade for it though. I don't know if anyone even like bought it. So we'll see if I can find a trade for it. But now we have two things left. This is the Kamas Grocery Store 
pop up and then the dream show in your dream like encore merch i think this one i'm gonna do an eight pattern because they did four versions of the trading card set and there's two cards per version so i'm just gonna do an eight pattern There's actually only five cards. There's technically six cards because there's like a Polaroid that came with like a crossbody bag. But for some reason I didn't buy it because it wasn't a selfie card. So I was like, you know what? Let me like limit myself. But the card is actually really cute. It's like him doing the newt newt. <laughs> I hate that I said that. but And it could make a six pattern if I get it. I mean, we'll see if I end up getting it. But um... I'll just do a five pattern for now. Since it's a Polaroid card, it might not even be that expensive resale. So if I end up finding it for a good price, then I might just get the card. Cause I don't even need the bag, to be honest. I mean, I don't even need like half of the merch items I like buy. <laughs> I just buy it for the photo card. So now I'm just gonna put <laughs> all of the D-Icon cards away. I separated it because I wanted to. And I'm just gonna put this away I guess I'm not gonna like separate it by like pages, I think. Should I? Oh, there's 10 cards. Okay, never mind. I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna put these in like whatever order. I also just realized I could have technically put the Festa ticket cards that I had earlier in here because this is that's also the icon. Then we have our like season's greetings cards because there's the season's greetings merch for 2023. I didn't set up for it, so I guess I have to take out all these dream cards because I have to put the one two seven ones. page i'm honestly not even gonna get another slow acid card so oh well but i'm gonna put this card here this is the pink phone card this is not a collab technically this this was like a little like merch item they had the love letter merch but it didn't come with a photo card or anything it just came with this thing i'm just gonna put it here it's not a collab but whatever and then oh yeah so this is everland stuff i don't know where else to put the everland things so I'm just gonna consider it. I mean, it is a collab basically between like Everland and SM. So yeah. Oh, perfect. There's a page here already because they are releasing more Everland merch. There's already more Everland merch out. Oh, I put this in the wrong pocket. <laughs> oh yeah. Also, this headband card. Guess where that card is? <laughs> We'll see how far I get with my Everland collection. I guess I'll just put this card behind for now. Oh my god. I think that is like everything now. Holy crap. That was such a long, that took way longer than I anticipated, but we did it. Yay. Let's see how full this, I think I have to separate this binder or maybe get a bigger binder possibly. This is a two inch binder, I think. Oh my, oh god, it is, it's way too full. I'm gonna put like the back cards in this binder, so like the season's greetings and collab cards. still might be too full. I think I might need to move the D-Icon stuff, actually. Oh yeah, there's still a lot of space. Yeah, it's still way too full, so I'm just gonna move all the D-Icon cards. Yay, we 
finally did it. Okay, I'll do a super quick flip through because again, my battery is probably gonna die any second now, but first we have, well, this didn't change. The hollows is still the same. Just this new added page. And then, oh my God, wait, this might be like so satisfying. Okay, so this is messy. We all know this. Then it starts to get a little more organized. Super M. And then Resonance. What source? Transitioning to Hello Future. And then a lot of the events. These actually fit really well together. These like events cards. And then NCIT. Sticka. Transitioning into Favorite. Universe. Um, the link, SMCU Express, just transition cards, and then glitch mode. Oh my god, these pages look the most satisfying. The ones that is a nine pocket. And then beatbox, or glitch mode transitioning into beatbox. Um, I mean, Baker House. <laughs> In Rio, one to seven anniversary and dream anniversary. Transitioning into this is Retro House, and then the Dream Show two. More of the Dream Show and random stuff. Um, dream vibe, and then too badish, too badish. these fill up soon. Laundry shop into Neo City Link Plus, I guess, in Seoul. Welcome to my city. Again, like TBD on like which cards I'm gonna actually collect, so I'm just leaving it like this for now. And then candy, which is not fully organized yet, but we'll wait and see. Pink Christmas, SMCU Palace, Ayo, and then Starry Daydream, NCT Home, and then more miscellaneous, and then this will be commas, <laughs> and then Dream Show in Your Dream. And that's where we are. And then we have this as a backboard, I guess. But oh my god, that actually was so much more satisfying. Wait, I love my mark collection. I mean, I've always loved my mark collection, but like, I love it even more now. But the way it's like, oh shit, organized like this. Wait, it kind of looks so good. I wish I did this from the start, but we did it now. Better late than never. Okay. Oh my god. And then super quickly, I did make like fillers for a yo album cards because I don't think I properly set up for AO. Wait, where is it? Yeah, <laughs> I didn't. I think it's just, yeah, it's just five cards though. So I think I'm going to do like A. Wait, hold on. Because obviously if like the new era starts i usually like blend it in kind of you know you can see like sticker favorite so for now i'm just gonna make it a five pattern oh my god i just got the 10 percent notification oh my god chop chop we gotta hurry before my phone dies and then i didn't set up for istj yet i don't know when i'm gonna do that probably off camera before or like in my reorganizing video that i'm gonna do later and then technically I didn't set up for best friend ever either, but it's because I have all the cards with me right now. I'm gonna store all the cards in my next storing photo card videos. So I was like, I'm not gonna make fillers for it. So even though I did that for the previous binder. Oh well, okay. Oh wait, <gasps> I forgot to do a flip through for this part. Oh my God, I'm so dumb. We have the icon, even though I feel like you guys have basically seen this already. It's like the same thing. Who knows when they'll do another Diacon thing. I hope they don't. <laughs> and then Seasons Greetings. This is pretty much the same. And then Collabs. Alright, that's it. Okay. 
Wow, oh my god, it's already 2.33 a.m. When did I start this? 11, so it's been, what, like, almost three? Wait, oh, it's, it's already been, it's been almost four hours. I've been sitting in this chair for four hours, basically. Oh my god, how am I even alive right now? Okay, anyways, that is it for this video. I finally got to reorganize my entire Mark collection. Hopefully that was very satisfying to y'all. And this is just one part of, I guess, two for reorganizing my binders before my mid-year collection. I don't know why that took so long for me to say, but anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Again, probably the next video is going to be my long-awaited collective haul that I've been holding hostage for these past couple months. Um, and again, I promise I will try to post as many second channel videos as I can. Anyways, oh my god, my throat is so dry. <laughs> Um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!